Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be decluttering my whole makeup collection. I'm going to be taking you guys through drawer by drawer and pulling out stuff that has gone bad, that I don't use anymore, that I think someone else can definitely get better use out of. And as I kind of pick these things out, I'm going to let you guys know why I'm decluttering. I'm also going to be showing you guys a couple things that I'm keeping. You guys are definitely going to see a pattern in this video that I could justify keeping a lot of makeup. The products that I declutter, I'm going to be separating into three separate piles. One is just going to be a garbage pile because it is bad, expired, smells weird, whatever. The second pile that I'm going to be decluttering products into is a donate slash sell pile. So anything that I think a friend or family member could get better use out of or anything that's in decent condition that I think I could sell on Depop or anything like that, I will put into that pile as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to be selling anything on my Depop, but that is always linked down below for you guys if you want to go check that out. And lastly, the last pile that I'm going to be decluttering stuff into is a use up pile, meaning anything in my collection that is almost empty or I think is about to go bad and I want to use up, I'm going to be pulling out of my collection and putting it into my little everyday makeup section on top of my vanity just to make it a point to use it and to use up that product so it doesn't go bad and I can just shuffle it out of my collection like I said and use it up. So I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing me declutter my makeup collection. Definitely let me know if videos like this are something that you guys want to see more often. I'm hoping to have a makeup collection coming sometime this year. I'm not sure how soon it's going to be. Maybe over my spring break is what I was thinking just so I have more time to kind of organize my collection and really piece the video together and take my time filming that. But I think that's all I have to say to you guys. Like I said, I really hope that you guys enjoy seeing this declutter and let's just get on into it. So first things first, on the top of my Alex drawer, I have this palette organizer right here. I don't think I'm going to be decluttering any of these palettes just because I keep this out to store my favorite palettes, new stuff that I haven't tried yet. Like I haven't tried these palettes that I got for Christmas. This is new, but then a lot of these in the back here are just my favorites that I reach for on a daily basis. So I'm definitely not going to be decluttering any of these. I just wanted to kind of point that out to you guys. But now I'm going to be moving into my Alex drawer. I don't know if I'm going to be going through what's in my desk. If I have time and if the video is not too long already, I might declutter my desk as well. But there's not much makeup. It's more like skincare and stuff in my desk. So maybe I'll do like a separate video that's dedicated to organizing my vanity. So definitely like this video and let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see as well. All right, so moving down, this is the first drawer of my Alex unit right here. So first, this section right here, I have brow stuff and primers. Lash glue in here, I think... This is what I'm going to declutter. This is like a little peak. What is this? This is like a little peak eyebrow powder. I got this in like an Ipsy bag. I never ever use this. So I think I'm going to declutter that. I'm not sure if I mentioned this earlier in the intro, but I'm going to be putting stuff into a few piles. One is going to be donate to friends and family slash sell. One is going to be totally throw away because it's bad and I would never put it on my face or want anyone else to put it on theirs. And also I'm going to be doing a pile of stuff that I want to make a point to use more or use up because it's almost empty or it's about to go bad. So as I go through this stuff, I'll let you know which category that stuff is going to go in. But I think for this brow powder, I'm going to be putting that just in a donate slash sell pile because I have my Anastasia brow powder that I love so much. I believe, actually, let me compare the shades. I believe the shades are pretty similar. Yeah, I mean, they're pretty similar shades. I would say this almost looks like if you mix these two together. So I think I'm just gonna be giving this little peak one away because I use this one all the time and love this one. I don't need both. Also in here, I see something I think I'm going to be getting rid of is this NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. I got this when the Anastasia Brow Pomade came out because I didn't want to spend the money on that. But I honestly just don't know how often I'm going to be using I mean, look, it's all dried up and crumbled. I did use a lot of it. I didn't absolutely love it. And I don't think I'm going to be able to revive this very well just because it is really dry. And I also, like I said, I just have brow products that I love and this is very dry. So I think... Yeah, this is like rock hard to the touch. It's crumbling. I think I'm just going to be throwing that away. This brow gel is a little bit old. Um, let me look at it. I think it's a little bit old, but I don't have another brow gel. So I think I'm just going to hang on to this just to use in the meantime until I get another one. And it's also just like brow gel. It's not like I'm putting it really directly on my face or near my eye. So I'm not too worried about that. I could definitely tell you I'm going to be decluttering this better than sex. Too Faced Mascara. This is the mini one that came in the Nikki Tutorials Power of Makeup set. I think that this is the purple one. I just don't ever see myself using a purple mascara and this is maybe like 
a year old now and it's just been sitting open in my drawer i have these two maybelline line stilettos which are my favorite liquid liners um let me look the brownish black this one looks pretty decent i still use it and the black one i think is a lot more new so yeah i'm gonna be hanging on to both of those this ico liner right here i'm not sure where i got this i know it's just like a sample size this i don't really like felt tip pens like this i don't think that this is anything that I'm gonna use I'm not really sure about this I might take it out and try to test it out but I honestly might just donate this to someone because I don't want to try it and not like it and then it'll be used so I'm just gonna take this out to donate for someone who doesn't wear eyeliner I definitely do have a lot of liners I am gonna keep the ColourPop liners just because I really like these ones for my waterline and they're pretty colors I don't have a lot of those colors and then I just have some black liner this one's really good for the waterline if i ever do want to wear waterline liner i just think it's like a staple to have a black liner in your collection so i'm gonna keep that one i want to say i want to keep this ofra liner in green go but honestly i don't know let's swatch this because i'm not sure if i remember this having much pigment okay that is pigmented but it definitely didn't show up on my waterline i'm just not sure how or when i would wear that color either I'm gonna put this aside it'll be like a maybe for me I have a lot of trouble <laughs> like parting with makeup products as you guys could probably tell let's see this the Aurora liquid liner I think I'm gonna keep that too just because I got rid of the Ico pen liner I'm gonna keep this pen liner this I teeny teal blue liner I'm going to swatch it next to the color pop one because I don't think that I need two blue liners so let me just compare those two next to each other even though ooh, the color ones color pop one's kind of broken i think the color pop one is more of a periwinkle i have such trouble getting rid of makeup you guys i think i'm gonna keep both of those i just realized that i don't think i got rid of a single thing in this container actually you know what i am gonna get rid of this essence lash princess because this is just really old and really dried up as you guys can see i think i'm gonna be just putting this into the empties pile so that i could talk about it with you guys when i do my empties video and i decided that i'm also going to declutter this aurora pen eyeliner just because if i ever do use a wing i just love my maybelline line stiletto and i don't ever see myself reaching for this so i'm going to declutter this too but all my ColourPop single shadows i could tell you guys right off the bat i'm going to be keeping all of those just because i really love those the swarmar single shadow i am going to be keeping as well um a lot of these single shadows and stuff i did get in like ipsies and i don't think that i'm going to continue using so i think this one right here by mellow cosmetics this is so gorgeous um this one is in the shade plum but i could definitely tell you guys that i probably have the same version of this shade in so many palettes and i just feel like i reach for palettes so much more than i do single shadows that's pretty but um it's just like a it's just a little too muted for me and i definitely think like i said i have that in a palette so i'm gonna be donating that all of these shadows i really like the milani ones the nyx prismatic shadow is really good i think i'm gonna be decluttering this hakari pigment again this was something that i got in like an ipsy bag it's a really pretty shade but nothing i don't have in palettes and like i said i just don't reach for single shadows that much so i'll show you guys what this looks like but i just don't see myself reaching for single shadows and i use this a decent amount so i think it's time to pass this on to someone who will probably get way more use out of it i think i'm going to be decluttering and giving this to someone else this is the naked cosmetics pigment in sierra nevada i've tried to use this it's just way too messy for me i think the component is very messy and again i just have so many of these bronzy shades that are just easier to work with On the side here i have some little palettes and things as well this is a little clinique palette that my grandma gave me i'm going to be holding on to this just because she gave it to me and it was really cute but this i am going to be decluttering this is the little 
Kat Von D, what is this even called? The Rock and Roll Eyeshadow Palette. I tried selling this on Depop, but Depop removed it, but I literally don't use it, so I'm gonna pass this along to a friend. This is a random lip gloss that doesn't belong in here. And then I have some waterproof eye makeup remover, and then these two little Wet n Wild palettes. I've been debating all night, you guys, because I've kind of been um, trying to think ahead of time, just see what I wanted to clutter, what I feel comfortable giving away and stuff like that when I was planning this video. But honestly, I'm so conflicted over these. I know that they kind of have the newer versions that are like a little bit reformulated, a little bit better, but these are such classics. I think I'm gonna hold on to them just for like collector's purposes. I know that sounds crazy, but if you guys have been in the YouTube and makeup world for a while, you definitely know that walking on eggshells and silent treatments are just classic palettes here. So in my second drawer, this is where I have a lot of my compacts and a lot of my pressed powders. First, going down the line of my highlighters, I don't know if I'm gonna be getting rid of everything, anything. The only thing that I could think of maybe decluttering is this NYX Illuminator. I've actually had this for a really long time, and it just isn't really like the highlighter that I like. As you can see, it's like very sheer, very for a natural day also these ones i'm definitely not getting rid of like my anastasia illuminator because that is no longer available my rodeo drive i don't think i'm going to be getting rid of any other highlighter in this row now moving on to my blushes benefit dallas is definitely one that can stay but i think i'm going to be passing on this mac blush or even just throwing it out my aunt actually gave this to me and i think it's pretty old i'm not sure how long she had it in her collection but i think i've had it for at least two or three years now it's a really pretty shade but it's just not one that i get much use out of so i'm either going to pass this on maybe to a friend or a family member after i sanitize it but i honestly before i do that i might look up the batch number of this and if it's too old i'm just going to throw it out this kind of has my cream products my color pop highlighters i'm not sure how well you guys can see but the only thing i'm going to declutter is this loose highlighter from mica beauty again this is something that i got in an ipsy bag and this is in the shade highlight number three i haven't used this yet but honestly i just don't have the patience for use pigments like you guys saw me with the loose shadow i just never get use out of loose pigments like this whether it's a highlighter or shadow so i'm gonna pass this on as well this maybelline cream stick blush back here i was thinking of passing on but this was like one of my first blushes so it's kind of just like nostalgic for me so maybe one day i'll pass it on but right now i'm gonna keep a hold on to it and also this cover effects um enhancer drop i'm gonna hold on to that as well because i just haven't tested that out enough everything back here i'm gonna be keeping moving on to my powders i'm gonna declutter these two powders but i'm actually just gonna put them in a pile to use up because as you can see they are both almost empty but i don't want to throw them out because there is still some powder around the edge there so i'm gonna put these on top of my vanity or in my vanity drawer just to make sure that i finish them up and then i could declutter them and put them into an empties video all of these other powders i'm going to keep i think i'm going to keep all of my bronzers i really love all of my bronzers and i don't have that many so i'm just quickly going to reorganize this section I'm not sure about this one right here. I wanna keep it just because I kinda of wanna give it more chances, but this is also something that I feel like I've tried so many times and the formula is just so dry and I don't see myself reaching for it. This is one of those cream products that's just hard. It's kind of crumbly. Um, and I know it's like a little bit old, but even from when I first got this, it never had the best formula. The only way that I could make this work maybe would be with like a little oil or something like that, but I just don't see myself having the patience to use this. And the only one that I would use is this color. So I think I'm going to take it out of my collection just to kind of try to test it out again. And then I will make my final decision after I use it one more time. The next drawer is one that really needs to be decluttered. This is my face drawer. Foundations, concealer, setting sprays, loose powders, primers, stuff like that. This is just way overpacked. I have a lot of older stuff in here. So let me just pan the camera down a little bit and we are going to declutter a lot out of this drawer. Okay, so I hope you guys can see everything okay. My concealers are in the front here. I'm gonna take that little bit out, but I'm gonna start off with my foundations because I know that there are some in here that definitely need to go. The first one I could definitely say is going in the garbage is this CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1. This foundation is so 
old. This is gonna be so terrible, but I think I got this in maybe 2014, 2013. I haven't used this in a while. It smells really bad. I used up most of it. Maybe there's like that much of it left. The shade is a little bit dark for me even in the summer. This was like one of my first foundations that I ever picked out for myself, so I'm not surprised that I picked out the wrong shade at the time, but it's just too old. This is probably... Oh yeah, expires May 2016. So I probably bought this in 2014. This is just way past its expiration date, so that has to go in the garbage. Also in here, I'm gonna be decluttering this Fit Me foundation just because this is 125 and I wear 120. This is almost empty as well. Maybe it has one more wear in it, but it is just really dry and it doesn't smell the greatest. I think it did kind of go bad. It's very dried up. It doesn't smell amazing. And there's not that much left and it's not my correct shade anyway. I wear 125. There's not much of a difference. I'm not sure if you guys can see. This one is just a little bit darker and I would also say a little bit more orange so 120 is my perfect shade and I will definitely be holding on to that these are the two Maybelline Better Skin foundations back here. 120, it's still good. That one's recent and that's my shade. I'm sorry, that's 20. 25, nude beige. I don't think that this is good anymore. I really wish that these had an expiration date. I mean, I know they say that they expire in 12 months. I'm just not exactly sure when I initially purchased this foundation. So let's see. I know it's a thick foundation. I don't remember it being that thick, but I'm going to smell it because I feel like that's a good indication for foundations going bad. Okay, it does have kind of a sour scent to it. So I think I'm going to declutter this as well. I think 25 is too dark for me. Just like in the Fit Me Matte and Poreless, I'm 20 in that shade, I mean in that foundation as well. So I think I'm going to declutter this too. Just to be on the safe side, I think that this is way past its expiration date as well. An old foundation is definitely something that I like to be cautious with. This one wild foundation right here is definitely staying in my collection. There is nothing wrong with that at all. My Fenty Beauty stuff is really new as well as this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. This isn't even a year old yet and I don't have that much left. So this I'm going to leave in my collection and I'm definitely going to make a point to use that. I think I'm just going to go through my concealers while we are here with you guys because I know I need to get rid of a lot of these I just have so much concealer and I don't even think a lot of these are bad I honestly just think a lot of these are empty because I use them up and I just kind of forget to throw them out like literally this one right here I could tell is empty this is a brand new master conceal this one I'm pretty sure yeah this one is empty so that one can just go in the trash I don't know you guys sometimes I just keep empty stuff and I have no idea why. This concealer right here, this is the NYX Above and Beyond Full Coverage Concealer. I know for a fact that this is well over three years old. I'm going to get rid of that one as well. I have this little, what is this? I think this is the little sample of the Fenty Beauty Foundation when I was testing out the shades. I'm pretty sure that's empty, so I'm going to declutter that as well. And these right here are actually two samples from MAC of their Pro Longwear Concealer. I have NC20 and NW20. I don't need both of these. I'm not sure which one was my shade. That looks a little bit dark. I don't know. Let me look. Maybe it was NC20. That looks dark too. I don't know why these are looking so dark to me. Honestly, Ooh, and these smell really, really strong. I'm not even sure if these are good anymore, and I didn't even get them that long ago, but oh crap. <laughs> these actually smell like they went bad, so I'm going to get rid of both of my MAC concealer samples. I also have these deeper shades of the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I think I'm going to declutter these out of my collection as well. I don't think I'm going to be throwing them out, though. I think I'm going to be putting them into my freelance makeup kit, just so I have like more versatile shades. Maybe I could cream contour with them on, like try cream contouring with them on someone else but on myself I didn't really like how these performed on the skin these shades weren't the most ideal for me when it came to contouring but I think it'll be nice to have more of a range in my makeup kit so I'm gonna sanitize these actually I don't even think I put these on my face I think I squeezed them out of the tube and used a brush when I used them but I'm gonna sanitize them anyway and put those into my makeup kit I am gonna declutter this Maybelline fit me concealer maybe I'll give this to my mom because I know she likes it but I just don't like this concealer I think it's just too sheer a little bit too I find this concealer to be a little greasy I find that it slides around on my face too much so I'm gonna try
try to pass this on to someone. So these are the concealers that I'm left with. I'm pretty happy with that declutter. I think that really needed to be cleaned out badly. And I think I have a fair amount in here now and I'll definitely use all of these. And the last section in here is more setting sprays as well as primers. I don't think I'm gonna be decluttering any of my setting sprays just because I love those. I get lots of use out of those. Um, looking through here, is this empty? This feels like empty and like I kept it anyway. No, so this still does have some um, primer left in it. So I think I'm gonna hang on to this and just put this out on my vanity or in my little everyday makeup section so I know to use this and finish this up and then maybe I will get a new one of this or test out the e.l.f. Tone Control Green one. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. I'm gonna hang on to that. I know I have a little, yeah, I have this little mini Smashbox right here. I'm gonna keep that as well, even though I have the large one. It's just my favorite primer. The Nivea Shave Balm I'm gonna keep. But then on the side here, I have lots and lots of stuff that I don't see myself using. So let me go through this little pile. These are the e.l.f. blotting sheets. These are actually really good. These are the ones that it kind of sticks and the sheet has some translucent powder on there. These I'm definitely going to keep. This is very, very good from e.l.f. These I love throwing in my school bag, especially during the summer when it gets really hot. Those are always good to have. But these all little samples, I think I'm going to get rid of these. This Dream Velvet Foundation. This is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. I just don't really see myself using these samples. I was going to hang on to this because I've been wanting to try this primer out. It's the Mineral Veil by Hourglass, but I just saw that this expired in February 27th of 2017. So I'm just going to get rid of this just because it is expired. But maybe one day at Sephora, I will consider getting a sample of this because this is a primer that I've always wanted to try out. Down in this drawer right here is my lip products. I actually recently just decluttered a lot of these during the summer without thinking of saving it for a declutter video. So I'm not sure how much I'm gonna take out of this drawer, but I'm gonna see it because I was looking last night and I definitely think that there are some things that I could get rid of in here. For instance, I've had this NYX lipstick. This is the NYX matte lipstick in, what is this, T Rose. This was very popular back in the day, but mine is all smushed. It just kind of smells weird. It's just not in the best condition. I've had this for a lot of years. So I'm going to be decluttering that out of my collection. Also, I think I'm going to declutter this Estee Lauder lipstick. This was passed down to me and it's been in my collection for about three years now. Um, I'm not exactly sure how long it was in that person's collection. This is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Lipstick in Pink Sorbet. And at the end of the day, that this just isn't a shade that I would wear. It's like a frosty kind of bubblegum baby pink. So I'm not sure if I'm going to pass this on again or just throw it out. But I just think it's like way past its time and it should go in the garbage. I feel so bad, you guys. I hate throwing out makeup. But right here are my ColourPop liquid lipsticks. And I am going to get rid of the rest of my ultra matte lips. I got rid of a ton of my ultra matte lips over the summer but as you guys can see these ones are kind of like a little bit separated i don't like the color top ultra matte lips anymore so i'm gonna get rid of the ones that look like they went bad i'm pretty sure the rest of these are all ultra satin lips which i absolutely love and i will not be getting rid of any of my ultra satin lips because those are my absolute favorite formula and then I also have their glosses which I'm going to keep. So I'm going to be decluttering these two ultra matte lips. These are Stingray and Embellish from Colourpop. As you guys can see I just don't think that these are good anymore. They really kind of separated and look kind of oily. I'm going to keep all of these as well. Actually let me look at these because these do look really similar to me maple blondie and peaches and cream but I love the NYX butter glosses and I think these colors are super fun for the yeah no these are really pretty and these are really fun for the summertime so i'm gonna hold on to both of these and there's still a lot left in those one that i'm actually gonna take out though to make it a point to use is creme brulee because creme brulee is my favorite and this one is almost empty so i'm gonna take it out and make it a point to use this and finish it up so i can feature that in a favorites video and then repurchase this since it is a favorite shade of mine but i want to finish it up first i'm gonna declutter this mini color pop gloss this one is in the shade piranha i think i'm gonna declutter this mary k one this is in the shade chocolate just because i remember how having this in my collection maybe in like the seventh or eighth grade so that's definitely too old for me to keep in my collection but other than that a lot of my lip liners 
are newer and my lip pencils just because lip liners and lip pencils are something that are more of a recent love for me but this one I remember having forever this was like my first lip liner so I'm gonna declutter this this right here is the NARS matte velvet lip pencil in Cruella this was a part of the Sephora birthday gift last year I have so many reds and I never reach for this one but I know my mom really likes this so I'm gonna pass this on to her I'm just looking at the rest of my lipsticks I don't think I see anything else that I'm going to declutter my MAC lipsticks my Anastasia lipstick my Chanel lipstick is old this was a gift to me a while ago it was passed down I don't think it's something that I would put on my lips but it's just kind of something that I like to have in my collection because it's pretty and it's like a Chanel collector's item this is the Rouge Coco 37 lipstick in rose Dentel. I'm not exactly sure how you say that but other than that I really love all the rest of the lipsticks in here actually maybe this one can go this is the Milani nude cream lipstick I love the color of this lipstick but the scent bothers me so bad it has such a strong perfumey fruity scent I just don't get the use out of it because of how strong it smells but I'm gonna go ahead and take this out and put this in my use up pile just so I can try it out again see if it's something a shade that I would actually wear and see if I can handle the scent again I don't want to like jump to conclusions and just chuck this immediately without trying it again so I'm gonna put this in my use up pile But lastly in this bottom drawer this is where i store my palettes i have some extra skincare and i also just have some stuff that i got for christmas that i just kind of need to reorganize my collection to make it fit so in here are my palettes um i don't think i'm going to be getting rid of any of my palettes the only one that i think i'm going to declutter actually <laughs> my little brush holder is stuck to it is this francesca's beauty book just because i don't get a lot of use out of this i was really into this when i did special effects makeup because these blues and the purples and like the gray were good for like bruising or zombie makeup but I just have other stuff of better quality that I would rather be using I don't even think I'm gonna pass this on just because I did get so much use out of it I think I'm just going to throw this away just because it is so old as well um this has an expiration date of 12 months and it's definitely been a couple of years the everyday makeup user in me wants to declutter this because this is something that i don't ever use this is the covergirl true naked roses but the youtuber in me i just totally deck that with my finger but the youtuber in me the makeup blogger in me is like what if i need this for a comparison what if i need this to do a drugstore video or this is very comparable to my naked three so i like to keep both of them to compare if i was just an everyday makeup wearer this probably isn't something that i would keep and it's probably something that i would give away or try to sell but just because it's my only drugstore palette and I have fears that I'm gonna get rid of it and then get a video idea or someone's gonna request a video using a drugstore palette I just like to hold on to this the quality is good it's not bad quality at all for a drugstore palette and it is very comparable to the naked 3 if you guys were wondering and I think it's better than the naked 3 palette so like I said the youtuber in me is going to justify that and hold on to it but everything else I love I use all the time and I'm going to keep so here's all the stuff that I ended up decluttering I think I did a pretty good job and I'm proud of myself I'm just gonna give you guys a little overview and the rundown of each pile again so this pile right here is stuff that I'm gonna be passing on donating trying to sell or stuff stuff that's still in good condition that's not expired that I could easily just sanitize and pass on to someone else this pile unfortunately is stuff that I think is going to have to be tossed most of it is empty some of it is just past its expiration date and some of it is just dried out and can't be used anymore so this definitely has shown me and enlightened me that I definitely need to make a conscious effort to use up what's in my collection because I don't want to have to keep doing this like I don't want to keep throwing out what I spent my money on but I do have to say most of the stuff that I'm seeing here was passed down to me or samples or stuff that wasn't too expensive but like I said a lot of it is empty but doing 
doing this has definitely shown me that makeup does go bad fast and that I definitely should be more conscious to go through it and use what I have before getting more stuff because I don't want to keep having to throw away little piles like this because I just can't use them anymore. And lastly, this little pile is going to be my use up pile. So this is stuff that I either want to use up because it is almost empty, like the lip gloss, the primer, and the powders. The concealers, I'm going to be shuffling back into my makeup kit so those definitely won't go to waste. And this is something and the little Milani lipstick that I want to try out before I make my decision on. I always like to give something a fair shot if I can't remember exactly or maybe like my makeup skills have improved and maybe I'll like them now. You never know. I just wanted to kind of take those out aside so I could really give them a fair chance to use them up before I make the decision of throwing them out or passing them on. I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing this declutter. Let me know, like I mentioned in the intro, if stuff like this is more that you would want to see. Declutters. I don't know if I'm going to be doing a declutter for a while. A makeup collection should be coming soon. If you guys want me to start like a shop my stash or something like that. But like I said, that is all the stuff I am decluttering. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know if you guys are decluttering for the new year as well. I really hope that you guys subscribe before you leave because I'd love to have you guys here and I am really close to 2000 and that would be awesome if we could hit that sometime soon. I'm sorry if my voice was annoying in this video. I know I sound so congested, but I hope you guys are having an awesome start to your new year. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and of course, I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys!